wondering about oracle cards and tarot cards, if they work and how they work. Okay, so that's awesome. We were just talking about this in our intuitive intensive class. And yes, absolutely, oracle cards work, especially if before you use your oracle cards, you get into what I call a clicked in state. A clicked in state is a state of being in alignment with your divine energy, your divine nature, your higher self, your source, your emissaries, whatever you want to call it. But if you get into that clicked in state, maybe through meditation or through some sort of a discipline or a practice, and then you pull your oracle cards, that will allow spirit to come in and kind of guide the process so that the cards that you pull are the cards that you should pull or that you need to pull. Then what happens is you kind of remain in that clicked in state and then you read the cards. Depending on your area of development, you can absolutely pull a card and then just read what the Oracle card booklet has to say is the definition of that card. Because you were in the zone when you pulled it, it's inspired and it's meaningful and it applies to something in your life or whoever you're reading for. And so the traditional definition of that card is going to apply. But the cool thing about Oracle cards is that they are kind of like a doorway. And they allow us to just connect with not just what spirit is bringing through, but our own intuition and our own ability to read cards, to see, to see the colors of the cards, the, the numbers of the cards, the, the characters on the cards, and allows us to sort of tap into our knowing and our ability to sense what's happening for ourselves or for other people. So Oracle cards are actually really great. Tarot is great. It's kind of an elaborate system. Um, I think if you're just starting out, Oracle cards are probably easier and you can have all kinds of different decks. It really depends on what you resonate to. I think I have about 20 decks, but my favorite deck, well, dang, it's right here. I've got two favorite decks. The first one is Sacred Symbols. I love it because it's accurate. And then, of course, my trusty, it's down here somewhere, let me get it. My trusty tarot cards. These are the tarot cards that I learned on way back when I was a little tarot baby. And I couldn't even tell you what the deck is called or if it's in production anymore. They actually have the meanings written right on the tarot card. So this is how I learned. I just practiced. I'd pull a card, I'd read the meaning. And if it's reversed, it has the reverse meaning as well. And even though it's pretty basic, you know, it's super simple and you can read it right there on the card. I still use these cards to this day because what ends up happening is they kind of calibrate to your own vibration. They calibrate to what you're doing and what you're using it for in your light work. And so these are just really, these two are just very accurate. And I have many, many decks and many, many different kinds of tools that I love. But then I have like the one or the two tools that I always go to, and it would be these two decks. I do also like to put my oracle cards or my tarot cards in like a nice box. You don't want to just keep them out anywhere where your kids can touch them and get their little jelly fingers on them. You want to keep your spiritual tools in a kind of a sacred sort of ceremonial space. You can keep them right on your altar if you want, like with crystals, which will keep it charging. But this box just has a few different items in it one of which is a pendulum. This is my old, old pendulum that I've been using for as long as I've been around, which is about 22 years. How dare you? But I also have like some old letters that my mom wrote me um, because my mom is like one of my guides and I just like to touch her. She's passed, so she's, I like to touch her, her letters. And then I've got little letters that my daughter wrote me when she was just a little baby. <laughs> I love you, mama. And the energy of these items just fills me with joy. And that joy is high vibration. And that high vibration charges anything in this box. So I keep like little items like that in my sacred box. And I keep my cards there. And I keep my pendulum there as well. And I keep them near me. So Oracle cards are awesome. You will find, though, that the more you work with your intuitive abilities, the less you're going to need Oracle cards. The, next, the less you're going to really need any type of of tool because it does open the doorway to perception and pretty soon you know the information and the answers are going to be coming through before you even actually look at the card pull a card grab your deck it's already coming through